Hey guys, how's everything going? <laughs> or doing, or you know what I mean. So, start off the video. So, somebody wanted me to um, uh, do this video on MHD. So, uh, they are uh, a comment on one of my videos. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this done. And right now, I'm having breakfast. Eggs and a yogurt. And what's nice about these yogurts here, they're... 20 grams of protein. Like I usually eat four egg whites. Um, and yeah, so I'm having this uh, for my breakfast. And then uh, after that, I'm going to go through the steps how I, you know, load up MHD and how to use it because uh, one of the, the guys, um, they're saying that, uh, oh, worried about the seatbelt or something or messing up a sequence or whatever. So I'm just going to go through what I did and what I do. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's helpful. Um, if not, I can redo a video and be more in depth. But I'm just going to kind of show like, you know, what I've done to just with MHD and then, you know, how to put the car in diagnostic mode and pretty much um, go through the process how I did it I mean it's pretty easy but I, I know that there's been some issues I guess um, with people loading it up so I'm gonna try and see what happens so yeah I'm gonna finish up this and go more in depth in the video all right so what I would recommend is that you at least Go and, um, I say at least drive the car around for a little bit, like, before you do anything. Um, you know, just go do your normal things, whatever you're doing. Um, just, th that just kind of keeps the battery kind of charged up. Um, so yeah, I would just go do that. And then whenever you get home or something like that, park it. And then... Get inside the car here. Oh. All right. And then what you want to do is take your um, you take your module. Um, let's see, your MHD right here. Okay. And you'll go underneath here. And plug it in okay after you do that go ahead and put it in diagnostic mode by pushing the button here there you go push the start button three times uh, and then yeah make sure you know the doors are shut and all that and then you will take out your phone and then you'll go and uh, go to the app, which I can't really show you do that. You go to the app and yeah, um, find the, the tune and load it to your ECU. If you're using the OTS map, you know, um, just load it up and it'll be fine. You don't have to do your seat bell or anything like that. Um, you don't have to mess with anything and it won't take long to load up and that's really about it um, it's pretty it's it's pretty simple I like I said I heard people like messing something up or anything like that that might have been just an issue with their car or something like that but I've never had any issues this is how I do it I just take this plug it in and put the car in diagnostic mode go to the app and i'll go ahead and i'll find the map i like to load load it to the car um and then you know turn the car back off and if i were you i would unplug this i would unplug it why because there's some people that even i've experienced it where if you leave it plugged in um what will happen is that you can't put uh, your car like lock it 
with your remote, the alarm will start going off because it detects, you know, something, I guess this or whatever. I forget what it, what it actually does, but unplug it and your car will unlock and lock. And another thing too is like, if you do unplug this, you won't lose your tune. It's already loaded to the ECU. Everything's good to go. So you can just take this after you're done, like so, put it in, put it here and you can put it back. I put mine back into its, its case. As you can see, I put it back in the case. And then I just take it, put it in here, in your glove box, whatever you need. And yeah, that's about it. Um, another thing too, I uh, forgot to mention, you might have to um, use your MHD and just... Uh, Get rid, uh, get rid of the codes. You're probably the first time you load everything. It's like, oh my god, I got all these codes. Use MHD, and you can uh, go ahead and knock all the codes out. Just you know, kind of reset it, everything. And then after that, you should be good to go, and you can start it up. And then you'll notice a difference how it drives. So I wanted to put this quick video out there, just to kind of explain how to do it i've i should have made a video just me just uh you know, step by step but it's um it's it's not too uh, difficult but you shouldn't have an issue doing it that's how i've done it never had any issues and the uh, the maps load pretty quick uh the first time will take a you know a little bit longer and then changing map to map it's it doesn't take long at all just you know a little bit so hopefully that helps um, comment, like, and subscribe, uh, if you have any questions on anything, I'll, uh, do the best I can to answer, so, yeah, I guess that'll be it for now, see you in the next one.